Hi, in this example we're going to look at using the multiple ring buffer and the analysis tools as part of chapter 7 with the map overlay and geoprocessing techniques. Here you can see North Carolina urban areas that have a population greater than 50,000. And what I'm going to try to do is find the number of tornadoes that occur within a particular distance of these urban areas for the sake of emergency planning or whatnot here. When I superimpose the tornadoes on top you can see what we're looking at here. And what I want to do is create a buffer. A buffer is an area of interest around a particular feature. In this case, we're going to be looking for this area of interest around a polygon. If we looked at these around a point, it would be a circle. It's a little bit more complex when we do this with polygons here. I click on Analysis, and I click on Proximity, and I can create a single buffer. Or right here, I can click on a multiple ring buffer right here. And I can single click on this here, and you'll see that I have my input features. My input features are going to be my urban areas. My distances, I'm going to make these 5 miles. I'm going to click the black uh, plus sign here to make it 5. And black plus sign again for 10. So there will be multiple rings. It's just instead of a single one. And down here under the buffer unit, instead of default here, I'm going to click on miles because I think these data might be in feet or degrees. You can see in the bottom left here, these are in degrees, so I definitely don't want to make these 5 and 10 degrees because this would, this would encompass the entire region pretty much. Field name is going to be distance. The dissolve option is going to be all. Okay, and you can see I'm going to save it in this particular uh, area right here uh, for my output feature class, where I can save it to my GIS demo here. But this is my multiple ring buffer right here. And when I'm set, I can click OK. This is a very resource intensive process, so it's going to take a little while. You can see down in my bottom right, you can see the progress of my multiple, multiple ring buffer here. And it's running. You see it's 50% right here. Getting up to 100% here. And it'll take a little uh, take a little while to write to the the uh, proper database that I specified in my input parameters. Okay, and here we go. You can see what I have here over my right here. It stuck the buffers way on top. So what I'm going to do here is just drag them down to the bottom. You notice for the North Carolina counties, I made them hollow, so I don't have an I don't have a color on these counties here. So you, now you can see these multiple ring buffers right here around all of my large cities. This is pretty neat. Okay, so we can now we can go through and count the number of points here. If I uncheck my urban areas, it's also going to include the urban area itself and then a five mile buffer around it. If I focus here specifically on, let's say, Greensboro High Point area right here, and this is Burlington over here, you can see what this looks like here. Now when I open up my attribute table, there's only going to be two features, one with a distance of 5, one with a distance of 10. So I can right mouse click right here, and one of the things I can do is just try to find the number of points within this highlighted area. And not only this includes the areas are in, in my triad region here, but also here in the triangle, and also here down towards Fayetteville here. And what can I do to create, or what can I do to find the number of points or tornadoes within these particular selected features? Mm -hmm. I can run a select by location. Remember we did this already? So I want to select North Carolina tornadoes. Here's my multiple ring buffer. And I want to look at use selected features. Okay. And apply. And you can see highlighted are just these features within this within this area here. So you can see 83 out of my 984 tornadoes occur within five miles of an urban area. How about let's look between five and ten miles? All I did, very simply, I just clicked on this same attribute table for my multiple ring buffer. Instead of the 5, I clicked on the 10, so that specifies between 5 and 10 miles here. I still have my select by location attribute uh, dialog hi highlighted. Use selected features right here. 
and apply. And now you can see these points have been highlighted here between 5 and 10 miles here. Open my attribute table and there's 50 out of 984 here. So I can specify these, I can use these as a selection tool or if I want to, I'll close this, I can start to use these as a cartographic product to look at buffers and proximity and all of these things for the sake of emergency management or crime analysis or whatever we want to do.